Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. How is it rolling, Taurus? I hope you are having an amazing November thus far. If you're not, hit me up. Maybe we can, <laughs> maybe we can do some cards about it and see what's going on with you. All right, you guys let's do this give me a chance to channel I'll lay all the cards out I'll confuse the heck out of you for a good minute and I will sew together a story and then I'll read it in its entirety all right let's do this let's do this Taurus give me a chance to channel spirit source universal energy where is the stopping point Ooh, right there for this particular Taurus all right all right let's do it let's go one, two, three. One, two, and three. Ooh, King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. First card out the box is the Magician. Fan freaking tastic. Manifestation, lesson number one. Number one, most important lesson of life. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes. You see, because your mind is the sword's energy right here. Your mind is the sword's energy, right? You get your mind involved in things. And then what happens? Then you start to get a little inspired about things with the wands right there, right? You start to get a little inspired by some research and some thinking and some planning that you're doing, and then your emotions get invested. Once your emotions get invested, your sense of well-being with the pentacles right there kicks in, right? And now it's created, right? You thought it into existence. You got excited about it. You invested emotionally in it. And now your whole sense of well-being is actually creating it. It's alchemy. The alchemist. First card out. Manifestation. To the king of wands. Success. Uh, a path of success. Possibly a person. Maybe a desire. Tell me about this king of wands right here. All right, Taurus. All right, Taurus. This is what's going on. Okay. This is what's happening. Okay. Okay. So the alchemist first card out sets the tone for absolutely everything. Why? Well, the universe needs you to participate. Okay. All hands on deck, Taurus. That's what's going down here right now. All hands on deck. Chop, chop, Pay attention. They need to communicate a message to you so you can get on board and participate with your future and your destiny because you are way off track, right? Manifestation. What you think about comes about, whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not. What you think about in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. The universe being major arcana speaking to you says we need you to focus on manifestation because we are trying to bring something through to you and you are, are, are not paying attention and you're blocking the manifestation of your life. Okay. The king of wands, success. Um, the pursuit of achievement and success, the attainment of achievement and success. The King of Wands is someone who is extremely capable. So what they're saying to you here is you are extremely capable of manifesting in the proper energy to be able to open the portal in the veil so they can deliver this to you, okay? The only thing that's keeping it from being delivered to you is your own mind, okay? Seven of Pentacles. It's time to take a step back and reflect and assess on why you are not fulfilled at the moment, okay? 
there is a lack of motivation with this Ace of Wands right here, okay? A lack of motivation on your part. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is upset in the home, the family, relationships. Used to hold this title, don't hold it anymore. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Okay, I have a lack of motivation because I've been there, done that, and I know what that's all about. Seven of Cups comes on top of it. Talks about wishful thinking, um, relationships, um, or my own personal success somehow. It's just wishful thinking. It's just not reality. Queen of Cups in reverse. Talks about hurt feelings, emotional insecurity. Hurt feelings, emotional insecurity. Major Arcana tells you that this is an injustice to your life. What's an injustice to your life? Ruminating on the been there, done that, got hurt feelings to show for it, and not going to go back there ever again kind of mentality. It's an injustice to your life. Justice in reverse is not in your best interest. It's not in your best interest to lack some kind of motivation to participate or engage somehow. Okay? Why? Knight of Wands, because there is a message. There is a message coming to you, Taurus. There is some kind of communication of some sort that is action-oriented. You are going to need to take action according to this communication, okay? This communication this message, this interaction, okay, um, is being divinely orchestrated to introduce the Ten of Cups into your life. Ten of Cups is fulfillment, right? It's like emotional alignment. It's harmony. Um, it is uh, emotionally satiated, okay? It's good, to the Two of Wands. The universe is trying to direct your future towards this through this message right here. To the King of Pentacles. Two things. You need to straighten yourself up, pay attention, and take control of your own personal faculties and point your direction, in, point your attention in the direction of manifestation. If you want this, whatever this is for you, if you want this, you need to begin to manifest it. Okay? Second message is, this is who is coming towards you. There is a counterpart to this Queen of Pentacles right here. The counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles is coming through this communication or message somehow that you are too uh, unmotivated to recognize as something that is going to turn your life in a different direction. Okay? Okay. Okay. The Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change. Things are about to change. You need to change. What do you need to change? The Eight of Swords. Your mentality. You are locked down, immobilized, I should say, in a place of fear because of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas from some other situation in your life that you keep holding on to. And if you keep holding on to the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and remain immobilized in your mind, remember your mind creates your reality, you will remain immobilized. Two of Wands in reverse, and you can't build your future on this. You cannot build your future upon this. Ace of Wands in reverse, you cannot participate in the destiny of your life if you don't participate in the destiny of your life. Locked down, paralyzed, scared, hurt feelings all over the place. Why? Princess of Swords in reverse. Because it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. It's happened before. It'll happen again. It's all a bunch of bullshit. 
the hangman and you are well well rested in this mentality very you've been hanging in this mentality for a long time stubbornly refusing to get any other kind of perspective two of cups in reverse all talk no action undelivered promises relationships never work out relationships aren't for me this opportunity is not for me this position is not for me um uh, i it, it 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 sucked the last time and it's going to suck this time and i just quite frankly am not interested and that's the problem because there is new love trying to come in to your life some form or fashion of new love adoption comes to my mind i don't know why but romantic family uh career you can love your career you can have tons of love for your career right some kind of emotional growth new warm fuzzy thing is trying to touch your reality but your reality because of your mindset won't allow it in strength in reverse and that's a problem it's a problem strength in reverse is a weakness strength in the upright is overcoming obstacles overcoming having the courage to overcome and not succumb to the obstacles in your path strength in reverse is someone who is succumbing to the obstacles in their path they don't have enough strength or courage to do something about it and that's a problem five of cups underneath all of this bullshit right here five of cups loss regret despair disappointment pain betrayal deception endings deceptions betrayals trickery fuckery five of swords in reverse and i got a lot of resentment about all that i got a lot of resentment about all that now here comes a reiteration of this top row prince of wands in the center of your reading there is a message that is coming there is an opportunity there is an exchange that's going to happen in your life that is going to require you to give an output and some effort towards procuring it it is a message of change of some sort and it's going to lead you just like this row said to the ten of cups it's going to lead you to a place of a great deal of harmony in your life okay nine of cups wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction is where it's leading you the eight of wands you have to change just like this one you have to change your mindset you have to change the way that you are processing or going about dealing with some kind of wounding from your past whatever that is if this was your reading and these were your cards we would be able to zero in on exactly what the issue is here for you but this is a general reading so i can just kind of toss things around but something's got to change your mindset has to change because it's holding you back from what the universe wants to deliver to you the high priestess they're trying to talk to you they're talking to you now they are trying to talk to you listen the wheel of fortune because they want to divinely orchestrate the steps of your life your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness and your soul is in direct alignment and communication with source who is trying to divinely orchestrate the steps of your life massive change possibly good karma for someone massive change the sun to a place of happiness, success and vitality. I mean, this is crazy, Taurus. See clearly the path to happiness, success and vitality is trying to be laid before you, but you are stubbornly holding on to some kind of ouchy mindset that is absolutely going to steal this opportunity away from you. 6 pentacles the giving the receiving and the sharing of prosperity in life to the devil in reverse but you have to release your limiting beliefs what's the limiting 
What's the limiting beliefs? The Eight of Swords right there. Some kind of lockdown mindset on some kind of hurt feelings from back here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The moon in reverse says you have to come to terms with the big, huge internal struggle. What's that struggle? It's the struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you do not want to accept as the truth. I think what you know to be true is that you are stuck in this bitter, salty mindset. And I think what you don't want to be true is that you're being stubborn. You're being stubborn and you just have your, your hooves planted in the ground and you're, you're just not going nowhere. Come to terms with that. Come to terms with the anxiety and the despair, the four of wands, so you can build a place of stability and safety and foundation by which to create a new kind of thing temperance in reverse but you're all upside down this saltiness up here this mindset this lack of motivation because something didn't work out in the past has you all imbalanced you're like leaking out the bottom it's it's occupying a piece of real estate inside of you that is uh, valuable because this thing needs to grow in that real estate five of wands in reverse the avoidance of responsibility, the six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past, and the ten of wands, carrying the burden and the struggle still to this day. The ace of swords, seeing it for what it is, aha, clear aha moment, have the aha moment. Remember, they're trying to tell you something here. What are they trying to tell you? What you're doing right now is counterproductive to the kind of life that you want to have. So surrender to the universe, allow it to happen, come to terms with this saltiness, stop being salty about it, and realize that you're not the same person that you were back then. And that's what they're trying to tell you, is that you're not the same person that you were back then. You are, if you will allow a divinely orchestrated relationship to come into your life, you will quickly understand that it will be unlike any relationship that you've ever had before. Because mm -hmm. before you chose your relationships out of your basic human understanding, wants, needs, and desires. But if you will surrender to the divine orchestration of the universe, you will step into the best relationship you've ever had in your whole entire life. But you got to let go of the attachment that restricts your growth. What is that? Your humanness, your mind. It restricts your growth. A spiritual journey is freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See the truth of the situation. Judgment. Big old judgment call. Big old decision. Huge, gigantic decision. What you going to do, Taurus? Are you going to see the reality of this? Or are you just going to continue in your blindness? To the Eight of Pentacles. You got to make a decision that you're going to work out all of these repressed emotions and hurt feelings. You're going to work on yourself. You're going to come to terms with it all so you can be in a position to receive from the universe. High Priestess, receive from the universe. Get ready for what they're trying to give you, the world. You have to close out the old cycle in order for the new cycle to begin. That's the message that they're trying to tell you here. The old cycle has to close. A fresh, new, brand new baby Taurus needs to come out of all of this and step into a new cycle of their life. Ace of Cups. You need to emotionally grow in order for you to be prepared to receive what the universe is about to bring to you. The emperor, take control of yourself, take control of your life, and do what you got to do, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, because you are wasting your time and you will not find success in the way you're going about doing it. 
four of swords in reverse, wasting your time thinking and overthinking. Knight of swords in reverse, wasting your time on thoughts that do not have any kind of productive value to your life. Temper yourself. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Push back from the table. And look around and say, all right, all right, what is this mindset I'm stuck on? What is all this pain in my past that I'm harboring? What is all of this, this emotional insecurity, this all talk, no action, this disappointment that I'm harboring inside of me? What is it? Where is it coming from? And why am I allowing it to hold power in my present? Not only holding power in my present, but potentially blocking my future. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations from your past, right? Temperance. What are you tempering? What are you balancing? Unmet expectations. Emotional woundings. Emotional unfulfillment. Two of Cups. Relationship. Ten of Pentacles. The future. Foundation. Five of Swords in reverse. Gotta let go of the mentality. Queen of Cups in reverse. Of all these hurt feelings. Page of Swords in reverse. About all talk, no action. Undelivered promises. King of Cups in reverse. A love that I thought was going to be forever is not. And now I will never, ever, ever trust anyone ever again. Uh-huh. And that's the problem. Right there, that's the problem. The universe wants to bring you the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It's crazy. The Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, the High Priestess. I mean, it's all just, it's, it's just right there on the other side. Huh. Devil in reverse, but you have to release your limiting beliefs. An attachment that's a restriction to your growth. Release those limiting beliefs. Step into your power. Get your confidence back. Get your sense of self-worth back. Own your shit. The Queen of Pentacles owns it. She owns it. And she knows she's worth it. And she knows her worth. And she will not settle for less than that. Self-love, self-respect, allowing the universe to rain down blessings in your life. Mm-hmm. 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 Allowing the universe to rain down blessings in your life. Hangman, you've been here for way too long. Take a step back. Cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. Take a step back. Remember the hangman was up here. Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises. Two of Cups in reverse. Never works out. Never works out. Hangman, cut yourself loose from that tree with a new perspective to death. And allow Source to transform your life and bring you what it is your heart desires, but they need you to manifest it. Manifesting is the key to everything. Point your mind towards where your intuition is telling you to go and do it. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, and it is all over this reading telling you to get ready because there's something that needs to be delivered to you but you your 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 membrane is too thick and it can't go through like cells right the, it, it can't it can't permeate it, it can't penetrate that mindset bring an end to it all Step through the threshold and allow the universe to transform your life. Judgment. And it all starts with you. It all starts with a, a conscious, cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say, it all stops here today, right now. And I am going to make a good decision in my life. I'm going to use discernment and I'm going to try to wrap my mind around the concept of surrendering 
to the path of my life instead of fighting against the path of my life because I don't want to experience some kind of dissatisfaction. To the sun. This is the path to happiness, success, and vitality. Yep. Happiness, success, and vitality. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles, right? This is what's trying to come through for you. That's, that's the counterpart. That's what's trying to come through for you. The King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups in reverse, but you're stuck in the past. You're stuck in the past. The Queen of Wands. You are fully and completely capable. The Hierophant of discerning and deciphering the messages that we are trying to communicate to you. You are fully and completely capable of manifesting the kind of commitment, obligation, or contract that you want for your life as well. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The lack of teamwork and collaboration, though. Whatever happened before in your life Seven of Swords in reverse. You need to break, break free from that mindset. Break free from a futile mindset. Four of Pentacles. Pull it together. The star. So you can step into the path of your purpose. The Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back. Reflect and assess on how it is you're going about doing business here, Taurus. The Lovers in reverse. Because obsessing about something that did not work in the past is making you blind to an opportunity that is trying to present itself to you. It's blocking the manifestation to the world in reverse. is blocking you. It's blocking you from everything. The cycle of your life needs to close. It's ready to close. There's a brand new, brand new, right there on the other side of everything. But your mindset is not allowing you to be prepared to receive it. All you have to do is come to terms, step forward out of the present, step forward into the next minute of your future with a different mindset and different things will begin to happen in your life. Manifest what it is that you want. Point your mind towards your intuition and you will never, ever fail. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.